Understanding Settlement Agreement, a Simple Guide. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into a very interesting topic that you might come across in legal documents, news, or everyday conversations, settlement agreements. We'll break down what this term means, why it's important, and give you some examples to help you understand it better. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just curious about legal terms, this video is for you. Let's get started. A settlement agreement is a legal document between two parties that resolves a dispute without going to court. It's essentially a way for both sides to reach a compromise and agree on certain terms to avoid the uncertainty and expense of a trial. These agreements can be used in various situations, including employment disputes, personal injury cases, or business conflicts. Key components of a settlement agreement usually include the resolution of the dispute, what the agreement is solving, the terms agreed upon, what each party has agreed to do or not do, confidentiality, Many agreements include a clause that the terms and the settlement amount are not to be disclosed. Release of claims. The party receiving the settlement typically agrees not to pursue any further legal action on the matter. Settlement agreements are crucial because they offer a peaceful resolution to conflicts. They save both time and money that would otherwise be spent in lengthy court battles. Moreover, they provide a sense of closure to disputing parties, allowing them to move forward. For businesses, they help maintain reputation and avoid the publicity of a court case. For individuals, they offer a way to receive compensation or resolve issues without the stress of a trial. To better understand how settlement agreements work, let's look at a few examples. Employment dispute. An employee and employer might reach a settlement agreement to resolve a conflict over wrongful termination, where the employee receives compensation but agrees not to sue the employer. Personal injury case. After an accident, the person responsible might agree to pay the injured party a certain amount of money to cover medical expenses and damages, closing the case without going to court. Business conflict. Two companies might use a settlement agreement to end a dispute over a breach of contract, agreeing on the payment of damages or the delivery of services to resolve the issue. We hope this video has helped clarify what a settlement agreement is and why it's an essential part of resolving disputes outside of court. Remember, these agreements are about finding a middle ground that satisfies both parties, saving them from the time cost, and uncertainty of legal battles. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Until next time, keep learning and expanding your horizons.